computer. All right, hello everybody. Welcome, Lunch and Learn, July 8th, 2024. Today we're talking about uh, the 30-day game plan. It's a form of DMO that um, I hope is going to give you a good framework because you know sometimes people are wondering like, what the heck do I do? What do I what do I work on? What should I do? All that kind of stuff. Um, you know, we already have that, but sometimes it's good to see it in a fresh way. And this is something you can print out and something that you can kind of use as a tracker. Um, and I think it'll help you. Even if you're already on another system, you might be on the DMO planner. Uh, you might already have something you're working on, but I think this will give you some more options and some great stuff. And the second part of this, we're going to talk about one of the biggest questions, I think, in all of um, this business, which is, you know, we have goals, we want to move forward, but then sometimes it's not that we really that we don't know what to do, it's that we just can't get ourselves to do it. And that's pretty common. And you'll see that everywhere from brand new people all the way up to even NMDs, just feeling unmotivated or unfocused on what we need to do or should be doing. So let's get rolling. But I won't get rolling until we share a couple of wins or things we're excited about for this week. You will inspire others when you do that. So let's hear from a couple of people. Hey, I will share, sorry, first of all, sorry, my camera is at a weird spot. Um, I'm really excited about this tower garden change, and Doug knows I had a mini breakdown when it started, and I was like, it sounds like a terrible idea. Um, but, you know, nothing like a little pressure to get you sharing tower gardens with everybody. Um, so I'm just trying to share them from the heart um, and why I like them. And Jen and I are having a pool party Friday smoothie. Pool party. <laughs> so that should be fun. Pool party. Everybody's invited. Everybody to their house. Pool party in Pennsylvania. How about that? And you know what? Just to be transparent, I don't know how you all feel about um, the changes happening. I mean, there's a lot of changes happening in our company and in our business. And when they first announced the Tower Garden thing, I may have, I may or may not have been down for the count, man. I may have been in bed for a couple of days, just depressed, depressed, because I've been trying to transition more to making like Tower Garden really a part of my business, you know, but um, it turns out it's going to be just fine. And it turns out that even the people that sell a lot of towers don't sell that many towers, honestly. I mean, I think I made about 2000 bucks on towers last year. And you know what, this is our only income. So that's not going to even pay the mortgage guys. So <laughs> each month. So um, there's a lot to be done. But I think Melissa's right. I think there's some energy around this change. And it's also going to bring in some people that do want to make um, a little bit of money as an affiliate. So I have a post on my wall, I adapted it. Um, and when I say adapt, I stole it. And I maybe changed three words kind of like um, some of you bad kids used to do when you were in high school. But um, I stole it from Leanne Harris and it's a really great post. Hey, Michelle, we are getting rolling here. All right, let's hear one more person share what they're excited about and then let's get into this 30-day uh, game plan thing. What do we got going? Tell us something good. <clears throat> Bueller. I can share. Okay. <laughs> so I've been working on getting my agenda rolling and I've I've been waiting on people until Sharon told me the other day, well, Nicole, you make it happen. Create events for people, go to their homes, which things that we know, but like you said, is sometimes that click of making it happen and doing it. Just like Juice Plus, it's just an easy way of flooding our body, bombarding. So um since yesterday, I've been focused on filling in my calendar. That's an easy way to expose people to Juice Plus rather than just calling for Juice Plus, um, selling the Juice Plus. So yes, I have an event already on the books for this Thursday. I already have, I, I had one um, for the following Sunday. And so I am looking forward to having another one this Saturday. So Thursday and Sundays are already booked. Um, so my focus is for Saturday. 
And the ones are booked wow. are 740s. Excellent. And I'm excited, yes. She's getting it going. And Nicole has already been using this um, tracker, not for that long, but uh, Melissa's been using it for quite a while. So they're going to be um, sharing a little bit as we go. I'm trying to look for Melissa. I don't know. You know, Melissa, you send me things on so many different channels that I can't figure out where anything is. I can't find it in Voxer, in text, or in Messenger. Who knows? But I guess we'll have to imagine it. Maybe you'll be at, at a place where you can resend it again. And you guys will notice I keep posting the same link into the chat. And that's because this will be my last time. That's because when somebody new comes into the meeting, they won't see the chat. They only see the new things since they arrived. So if you guys see people arriving into this uh, meeting, I want you to go ahead and repost for me that document. Please confirm that I have that set up correctly. Can you guys see that document in Google? Okay, that is a variation of the 30 day game plan. So let's get going. So <clears throat> you guys know, we, we know what our DMO is. We know what um, the basics, but sometimes it's, it's good to get some fresh eyes on it. So this is a variation of what we found or what um, Victoria Van Duzzi was putting out about a year and a half, two years ago. I talked to her at the last conference because um, in coaching Melissa, um, we were working through like how to work and how to stay focused and actually do what you want to do. And that's what today's all about. It's all about what should we do when we work and what can we do about the fact that sometimes we want to do stuff, but our brain just, I don't know what our problem is. We don't get motivated. You know what I mean? So we're going to talk about that a little bit too. <clears throat> but um, we've been working through this. We added a few thing to, things to Victoria's plan. <clears throat> we took some things away. We modified a few things. And I asked Victoria, would you do that again as like a contest, like challenging everybody? And she was a little hesitant. And the reason I asked is because I'm hesitant too. You know, we've been doing this long enough. I, I'm looking at some faces on here, and Nalani, and Karen, and Stacy, Michelle, Nicole, even that we've been through so many of these 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 little programs and these games. And to be honest with you, as a leader, what happens when we do that game is, um, you know, people that are going to want to do it, they're going to do it. People that aren't going to do it, yeah, the game might bring them along a little bit, but honestly, as a leader, it drags you down a little bit. And it, it, it becomes kind of stressful, like wondering, is Michelle doing it? Why isn't Michelle doing it? What's going on with Michelle? Not to call you out, Michelle, because you didn't do anything wrong, but I'm using you as an example. So, um, and you guys know that feeling as leaders, when you have a team member that isn't, that you think they say they're going to do something and then they don't, that stuff all just weighs you down a little bit. I don't want to be weighed down. This business is hard enough. Uh, Sharon and I want to run and we want to inspire you to run with us. And if you want to run with us, we're right here, you know it. So um, let's just get into this and um, talk about it, talk it through a little bit. Again, some of you guys uh, are experienced and have already been there, done that. <clears throat> but let me tell you that it's all about becoming an expert in this. You are a leader, you are a team leader, no matter how, I don't care if your team is one, you might have a team of zero right now, and that's okay. You're going to have a team soon. You've, you're, you're somebody that's coming on the lunch and learn. I know you're going to make it. You're going to be all right. You're going you're gonna to move forward. So um, this is training for what to do with your team. You just teach them the same way I'm about to teach you now. So in this document I shared with you into the chat, um, <clears throat> the link for this document is in the document. So that way you always know where to send somebody. And this is the, the basics of it. Before we do this, it's kind of like making a commitment. I'm gonna give you three different levels of how intense to make it, okay? Um, <clears throat> but here's the things we're gonna do beforehand. We're gonna do things that we should be doing anyway. Like we're gonna make a list and keep a list. Now, I'm not gonna tell you how to do the list. You might use a DMO planner. You might use um, Teamsy. You might use Post-it notes, God forbid or you might use a spreadsheet or something like that. Okay, but you have to have a list. Now, <clears throat> I'm not gonna tell you how many people to put on the list. Uh, some people like to pre-fill a list. 
of like and make it like a hundred people long or something like that you can do that if you want i tend to um do a lot of interacting with people you know in my community on the golf course at pickleball in the music world former students and i add people to the list as i go so i'm always building my list i've had the same list going for years and years and years if you want to exhaust your list and make it up to 500 people you can do that maybe put it in a spreadsheet or something but however you want to do it um, the second thing you want to do is have your customer uh, report and if you don't know how to get to your customer report and print out a list of your customers um, that's a great business skill to learn make sure you go to your upline and learn that skill the next thing um, it's a what what we would want to do is and this is like a social media concept that I think is brilliant you hear this from Victoria you hear it from other people as well I think um, a couple of the other uh, of social media teachers teach this and you ever notice how when you go to post on social sometimes you don't have something to post well maybe you should do a photo shoot what if you get together with your friends or what if you have um you know maybe your kid can be your photographer and you just bring a couple outfits over to a nice park or maybe it's in your backyard near your tower garden and just do some a variety of pictures okay and if you can get in the habit of just taking pictures as you go through life um that's going to be really 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 helpful okay and they come in handy um whether they don't have to be super professional but they could be professional they could just be fun just don't be afraid to fill your camera up with lots and lots of photos okay get in the habit of doing that it does i i hear sometimes um fourth of july uh we just this just this just happened the other day um we saw ariani on the team uh, we were just driving around in the golf cart, watching the fireworks in the neighborhood, and there was Ariani and the family. So we got to hang out with them for a few minutes. And, um, you know, Ariani, I, I couldn't see anything. It was dark. And apparently her daughter had been doing her makeup. It was like half of her face was made up and not the other half. And I was like, let's get a picture of you two. And Ariani's like, no, no, no. And obviously, if your makeup's weird, that might be a weird time. But some people don't even want to take a picture if they think it's going to be on social media like you have pressure to take a great picture just take a bunch of pictures and you're going to figure out the ones to use later okay another thing you can do is when you're going to do a work time and we're going to talk about time blocking and all that stuff later um you can batch some content what that means is you're going to just come up with some post ideas okay you're just going to like literally make some posts that you don't actually post but you're going to just save them for another time another thing i like to do is as i'm scrolling social media you guys have probably done this you see somebody that does an awesome post like let's say you see a great post from michelle or from dr valentine and you say man i, I should do a post like that well if you go to the three dots uh, you can uh, near the post you can just save that post you can save the post and then I make a list called posts. It'll ask you what list to save it to. So you save your posts. And then when it's time to make a post, I mean, I have saved posts going back years. I could, I would never have to think again because I just save every cool post that I see. I see some new people came on. If somebody could repost that link for the chat, that'd be super helpful. And excuse me if I do my neck kind of weird, but I've been... I don't know what's going on it's a little tight all right so batching content is really important so let's get into this 30 day 30 day game plan um we're going to do three levels all right first level is just a little if you want to do just a little maybe you're you're uh you're super busy or you just don't want to have like a full-time business you just want to do a little bit of juice plus but you know what even if you do a little wouldn't it be nice if it paid off you know, instead of just doing a little and it doesn't pay off. So let's think about how we do things. <clears throat> so there's a way to like challenge yourself if you're doing just a little. First thing, we're gonna do daily activities and then we're gonna look at monthly. And sometimes those are gonna just take care of themselves if you're doing the daily stuff. First thing I want you guys to think about is doing, starting five conversations a day, okay? This is really just the, the, the minimal DMO we see on the DMO worksheet, all right? Three of those people, three of the five, <clears throat> can be from people you already know, okay? And we want two of them to be people you're kind of discovering on social media. 
Now, those people you discover, it could be like, maybe I went to school with uh, Sony Boito back in the day. Of course, I would have been an older, much older brother. And um, I, went, I went to school with her, but I haven't talked to her in 20 years, 30 years. That could be a new person, even though I kind of sort of know her from back in the day. Okay, so then remember, you're keeping a list. So those five of uh, the three people you already know are probably already on your cold list. And then I would add Sony to my cold list, maybe even a warm list, depending on how the conversation goes. All right. So you start those conversations each day. You do five new conversations. Now, somebody was asking me, like, what's up with this worksheet? Now, I did change this worksheet from Victoria would do it where there was uh, one, two, three, four. So there's five boxes here. Oh, look at this. I didn't change this well enough. I think we got to fix this up. But what people that have been using this sheet is they just say, okay, we're going to do five conversations. Let's say I did six on this day. And this is just five days of the week. So you're just doing on this day, I did five on this day. Oh my gosh, I did really good. I did like eight or 10 conversations. Had kind of an off day on Wednesday. On Thursday, it was pretty good. So you just use check marks and do it with your um, your pen. You print this thing out and then it's there, okay? And you, you keep track and then, oops, and then you would just, uh, oops, again, I'm trying to erase this. Hopefully you guys can't draw on this. I think only a few of you are editors. But uh, Melissa, let me ask you this. Did you ever notice that before that like on daily, we have five check boxes. And I think you were doing the level three. Yeah, five days a week. I think that's just because we, um, yeah, we need to work it out to five check boxes. Sorry for thinking out loud. Okay, so you just keep a track of that and you do five new conversations. The next thing you do every single day is, now, by the way, these conversations, it's not five juice plus conversations. Remember, this is just a little. This is for somebody that's brand new. They're dipping their toes in the water. They don't want to get too crazy here. But we're trying to look, be intentional about being social. All right. So we're, we're having conversations with people. Those probably aren't like Juice Plus conversations, especially if I just started up with Sony and I haven't talked to her in 20 years. It's like, hey, Sony, how's it going? I see you're moving back to Florida. And she's like, yeah, almost there, driving there now. I'm super excited. My mom and dad are there and blah, 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 blah. Have you ever thought about joining my business? That would be bad. Okay, that's not going to work. Okay, you need to just have a normal conversation. And that may or may not lead to health. Okay. But this one here, invite one person to take a look. That is somebody actually looking at the product or the business. Okay. And then, of course, you have your follow up with the people from the days before. All right. So you invite person, one person a day to take a look at things. And then, super simple, post one thing on social media. It could be a picture of your dog. Okay. Even better, it could be a picture of your dog eating the gummies. By the way, that's an idea somebody gave me. Like, why aren't we trying to sell Juice Plus gummies to pets? Some of them are good for them. All right. All right, then we go monthly. All right, remember, this is level one doing just a little bit. Oh, we got a chat going. I'm not even paying attention. All right, I'm back phone overheating. Okay, no worries. All right, monthly, I want you to call each customer, check in. We're about to go to Shopify. We need to have relationships with our customers. Now, if you're doing just a little, you may not have a ton of customers. That's going to be pretty easy. Just once a month, check in with your customers. Remember the golden rule. You never let a, uh, somebody's order ship. And when we get into the new world, starting August 1st, where they manage their shipments, not us, you're still going to do the same customer care. You're never going to let them make a decision about whether to ship or not without checking in with them. That's the new golden rule. Does that make sense? I got a few heads going. Yes. All right. Monthly, you're going to do one of those photo shoots again. You know, it's summer. What if you went down to the beach and you did a cool photo shoot at the beach? 
What if you, you know, in the in the winter, you do some kind of like, what if you go skiing? Do do a, a snow bunny shoot? You know, who knows? You know, just do some themed stuff. Have fun, and um, gosh, I am terrible at everything now. All right, so we do that photo shoot next. Zero picture. Oh, come on, Nicole. M Melissa's going to the beach next week. And it's like like that northeastern, like Nantucket looking type of stuff. I know it's not really there, but it's um, cute little towns and stuff. That should definitely be some photo stuff. All right. How about monthly, a networking event? How about that? I wonder if um, that was on there or if Melissa added that. Melissa's been into networking and she is getting a lot of contacts. She gets some orders and stuff like that. Um, however, let's expand our networking and kind of maybe combine it with our hangouts. So our next thing that's really important is to do four hangouts a month. So I'll let you off on networking. I mean, cause I don't do networking. I don't like networking, but um, four hangouts is pretty good you know networking i might count for me like after i play golf in my league as an introverted person my instinct is to just leave you know but there's about 50 guys just hanging out in the clubhouse at the bar telling lies about their golf game afterward okay i should go in there and tell some lies especially since me and emma are in first place I mean, it's like I'm walking around with a celebrity when I'm with her at the golf course. So I'm going to do these networking. I'm going to count that. All right. The next thing is hangouts once a month or it's four times a month. Do hangouts. What are hangouts? Hangouts are simply you're hanging out with some people, friends. You're being social. You're getting out there. All right. We learned some things in during COVID where we just stay in the house too much. Can somebody paste the link back into the chat? I see Bridget's on. I would love for her to have this document. Um, so four hangouts, and then this is level one, Bridget. This is like a DMO plan for a, a 30 day game plan. Attend one event with at least two guests. All right, so you find an event. Um, it could be live, it could be on Zoom, whatever you want. <clears throat> and you bring two guests. You do one live video a month. You do one hour of three-way calls and you do two presentations. That's where two people, remember you invited people to take a look? Well, maybe there's a three-way call and there, your upline does the presentation or maybe you just do a web walk or maybe you just explain Juice Plus. However you want to do it. All right, now that I look at this and I think it through, I mean, could you imagine if everybody on your team did this activity? Which I know this is the just a little activity, but honestly, it's more than most of us are doing. All right, I can't see your head shaking, but I'm a sh I assume they are. I hope nobody's camera's off because they're ashamed or something, because don't be ashamed. Because we all know the truth. I will be the first to admit it. I'm having a vulnerable day. So look out what I'll be sharing today, maybe. All right. So if they did this, this lower level, they would have so much success, especially if you do this consistently. All right. Now, remember, you can do a little or a lot and you're a blessing. So if you're watching this replay and you're brand new and I'm as I keep stacking it on, you're saying what? And I got to do live video and an hour of three way calls and two presentations you're crazy well just cut out the stuff you don't want to do but hold yourself accountable to something i'm going to use the analogy of going to the gym and working out a lot today okay um you got to have some kind of a plan i mean if you have ever seen those people i love those videos on social media where they're like hanging upside down on the different machines and doing stupid stuff that doesn't even it's not the machine's not even made for it well, anybody that works out knows, usually you, you know if you're going into the gym, like, is it leg day? Are you doing bison backs? Are you doing chest and shoulders? Are you doing chest and tries? Whatever you're doing, you probably have a certain muscle group you're working on, okay? And then if you get with a trainer, 
I guess I'm your trainer. They're going to put you on a plan. This is the plan for 30 days. All right. You will have success. Let's go to level two. This is what we'll call the part time level. OK, we're just going to basically take everything and, and bump it up a little bit. So now our, we're going to do 10 conversations a day, eight from people, you know, and then two, you're adding uh, they're new and you're going to add them to your list. You're, then you're going to invite three people to take a look. OK, let's just stop right there for a second, because I'm just going to get a little crazy here and say, if you did this every day, I mean, some of you have been doing this business 10 years. If you did this every day right here, that's going to change things right there. I'm, I'm talking like consistent, like five, six days a week. I mean, let's just let's just go for it. And this it's not like this is let's let's uh, have fun with this one. I wonder how many hours I'll ask you guys. Yes, Nalani, thank you for putting some uh, comments in there. That is true. Split it up however you want. All right. So we're going to do 10 and three. Then we're going to post once you're going to do one post a day and then we're going to add a story every day. I'm finding stories to be way easier because stories are just like a snapshot of your life. But remember, if we live the mission and share the journey. That exposes some things you should if you don't have any stories to share, maybe you're not living the mission. And if you were to live the mission, you're going to attract more people because this is what we do. Okay. You don't have to be perfect in this business, but if we're trying, I think people respond to that. Okay. All right. That's daily activity bi-weekly on level two. You're going to do an event every two weeks with this one, with at least one new guest that can be your own event. That's a good, yes. Thank you, Stacy. Um, at least one event every two weeks that you are inviting people to even if you're serious about your business, if you do your own events, you are going to have more success. Even, I know it doesn't feel like it. I know sometimes you got a sourdough party and there's only two people that say they're coming. Um, have the event anyway. Sorry, I didn't say that earlier. Um, <laughs> have the event anyway. Because, man, those two people could be two NMDs someday. You never know. All right? So you're going to have an event or go to an event with at least one guest every two weeks. Four presentations every two weeks. That means somebody's eyeballs are getting onto the information. That could be um, videos. Oh, absolutely, Sony. You have people to connect with too, you know, from old olden days. That'd be great. Um, four presentations. That's where you're sharing what's going on. How can people join your team if they don't watch a video about our business or do a web walk or learn about it or, or see the bullet document or something? Figure out how you want to share it, but you got to do it. All right, then we have one hour three way calls every two weeks that could be split up obviously figure a three way call is going to be, take about 20 minutes so that's about three three way calls. Shout out to Nicole she's got me on a three way call today 4pm and then a one a live video every other week going live. You know you can buddy up I haven't been doing live videos lately, then I was talking to Melissa who was on the power hour this morning. And she says, hey, you want to go live tomorrow? The Tower Garden thing is starting up Tuesday night. Let's just go on and talk about the affiliate program. I'm like, OK, great. So now because a buddy in the business kicked me in the butt and said, let's go live. I'm going to have a live video tomorrow. So that's good. And then four hangouts. So that's two a week where you're hanging out with human beings. OK, let's put the link back into the uh, chat, please. We have uh, Trina here. Welcome, Trina. All right, and we're going over the 30 day game plan. This is level two and then monthly on level two. You're going to call your customers like before you're going to do a photo shoot. So you have some content in your phone. Now that includes like today, like I'm planting seeds of some heat tolerant lettuce. Why not just take a few pictures of the seeds 
take a quick video, like going in. I mean, I don't know when I'm going to use it, but I bet you I'll use it. And then go to a networking event monthly if you can do that. All right. Let's go to the full time. I see a lot of people on here that I know have insane goals. So I will cover this one for about a few minutes and just wonder how, what would this do to your business? Let me ask you this though. If we were to do 10 conversations a day, eight from people you know, and for two new ones, this is level two, how, many, how long would this take somebody to, to, to uh, complete? You guys have been doing this a while. Put it in the chat for me. Then invite three people post a story, post a post. I mean, isn't that two hours or less? Yeah, Melissa, just so you know, I reversed three and one. Because level one, I wanted to be the easy one, level, and where it works towards the hard one, not reverse like she had it. Nicole, why are you giving me stink face? It doesn't take two hours, it takes more? I mean, it all depends on the confidence people have. And sometimes it takes me a good hour just to make a reel or a post just because of the verbiage. Is this the right word? Or what is the message after I write it? Oh, wait, but I was, I didn't start with the question or the answer as people want it. Or they're training you to do it like three steps yeah. too, or, you know, like all that. It takes me more than a while. So sometimes. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I yeah, the social part could add up. That's for sure. Yeah, use resources to cut the time. And that's another thing. I learned this from um, Stephanie Garcia. She's a social media trainer, content maker, and, and she's kind of getting getting to be bigger and bigger. But I knew her through Jim Fuse, that Karen's friend that's on the team. And um, uh, she taught me that when you do one live video, that you can get like, she has a, a method to get like something like 90 posts out of it somehow. Like she'll take a, a, a 30 minute video. Like if Melissa and I go live tomorrow and it's like say 15, 20 minutes or even 10 minutes, we can cut little clips out of that and make uh, reels and make stories and all kinds of things. So 10 conversations and invite three people to take a look of course, then you have a, a presentation every once in a while, every once in a while. Yeah, I could see two to four hours. You know, that's part time and that is part time. You know, plus you got to go to hangouts and whatnot. I think this is even for a full time person. This is going to be quite a bit of activity and probably more than what we typically do. If you're really honest with yourself. All right. Now let's go to the full time. This is the all out insane if you really are hungry and willing to do crazy things. Now let's keep in mind the roots of this whole thing. Yes, we, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nalani, I will. Um, the root of this comes from Eric Worre. And when you watch GoPro and he's talking about the 90 day game plan, where you talk to your family and say, Hey, for 90 days, you're on your own for dinner. I'm not cleaning the house. You do the dishes. I'm just working. And then you work like crazy and you actually like ignore your family and, and other responsibilities in life. Okay. Now you might say, well, that's crazy. I could never do that. What if you did that for three months? And from that point forward, I mean, don't you ever, don't, do you guys ever look on and see like, um, you know, NMDs or something. And like, I mean, you don't have to say it out loud. Maybe I don't want to hear it, but do you ever get tired of like looking on at people that are having more success than you in the business and think, yeah, it would be nice Kurt Beavers if I could live on that lake and have that boat and be a member at that golf club. I mean, my golf club's great. But then there's people looking at me saying, wow, you have a golf cart and you get to live at a golf club and blah, 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 blah. Well, was there a time and there was, if you talk to NMDs or even you guys that have moved forward, you can probably point back to a time period where you did something that was a little different than what you do now. And you like really were grinding hard. You know, everybody has that. It's like the startup phase. Okay. So would it be worth it if the rest of your life could be different? Maybe. 
And like Dave Ramsey says, you'll, um, if you want to live like nobody else, maybe you got to live like nobody else a little bit. Okay. So with that said, what if you did 15 conversations a day? What if you followed up with five people a day? What if, and this is, um, this is just, this is the section that Melissa was using and we, we worked on this quite a bit. Um, what we call the miracle morning. That's from Hal Elrod's book called the miracle morning. And it has a time of meditation or slash prayer slash um, maybe yoga or stretching affirmations, silence and breathing um, exercise, you know, things like that. But so we just talk about doing miracle morning, living the mission and enjoying your life. And then you check that off. Don't go a day without checking that off. Because if you're doing a schedule like this, you're probably going to like, you could end up like going crazy or something. Post on social media every day. Post three stories every day. Three stories every day. Weekly. Do one event per week with at least two different guests. Do five presentations of Juice Plus to new people. That's Juice Plus slash the business. Do a live video once a week. Post a reel or do TikTok. It's kind of like a reel, I guess. Not really, but do one hour, three way calls a week. Go out and hang out with people for uh, four different times in a week. And then the normal, now this would be pretty intense to do four networking events. That'd be one a week. This would keep you very busy. Okay, this would be a full time job with a lot of responsibilities on it. Okay. Anybody have any questions or about the interpretation of like that document or what it means or pushback or stuff that yeah you just want to comment on it hey doug this is stacy when you're you mentioned a networking event can you give us a couple of ideas of like maybe you said that and i missed it what does that look like like a network business networking just networking in your community how's that different than a hangout i see a hangout being more like with friends that you know like keeping relationships up deepening friendships networking i interpret it for me for instance i hate like i really and maybe i need to challenge myself um and go to a business networking event but man those things terrify me like there is i do not want to be there no way but nalani i know i think i think nalani came into juice plus through a networking event um with um abby and then uh, Melissa's been doing networking events. Um, I interpret networking for me as maybe hanging out um, a little bit extra at the golf course, at the pickleball courts, um, sometimes, yeah, just things like that. Just networking in my area of interest, creating situations. Like I sometimes create, I, I will create like a hangout for like musicians at our church and things like that. Um, but yes, was it BNI and those other networking events? So like doing a trade show booth or a table, that would definitely be a networking event. I mean, you, you know, honestly, you could fill this form out however you want. Um, a trade show table could fall into presentations or it could fall into networking. Yes. Yes. Uh, one trade show will like that'll be your 15 conversations <laughs> absolutely you, would, you could knock out a lot in that sheet just in one one trade show that is true absolutely um melissa how are you feeling about the old oh, karen do you do trade shows also or are you you're not really into the trade show, show scene um not as much i worked it really hard for two years and it just i mean that's how i built my business in florida and i don't know what it is here they are it's just a different market when i did all these health fairs and trade shows so i'm doing way less of them okay i feel like melissa's doing pretty well with them she does not only the business ones but she'll do like 
you know how they'll have like um like a regional like women in business type of a event those kinds of things and i still hear her talking about those people and i don't think you met them like last week or anything these are like you met them months ago so melissa would you end up giving thumbs up to networking events yeah yeah sorry my phone my phone keeps reheating on uh, overheating on my dashboard here. Um, yeah, and I did it just as like a way to grow my confidence just in talking to people and telling my story. And at first, people are like, "What do you do?" And I'm like, "I don't know. you know, but it now it rolls off my tongue a little easier. And um, yeah, like Doug said, I did um a women's event in March, and like I've met some really good people and you know, it's like you start to go to these things weekly and just meet people and make friends. So that's, that's really, yeah. it's been a really cool experience. Yeah. And I think it's pretty cool that, I mean, it is networking. You're not always going to like meet some lady and like she plops down a credit card and she orders a trio. Maybe it's more valuable that, you know, Melissa has like other entrepreneur relationships in her city now too, that she can, talk to people and and even like some of the financial advisors and stuff like you and she's going to a baseball game i think today was that today or sometime this week she's going to a baseball game from a financial guy and that's going to be an, a way for her to meet other people and stuff so that's really helpful well let's talk about the second part and that is we can have all these game plans we want but um that most common thing um who else struggles with this it's like we have time freedom but then it's like we end up not working as much as we should or doing the right things me and nicole and and, and melissa karen works hard i know that but i'm sure it sneaks in on her too well i like i just got back from vacation you know how much i need to kept on catch up on in just the house and I'm, and, and you know, I'm like, I have so much in juice plus. So it's always, I feel like I'm always being pulled. Yeah. Yeah. Trina, Bridget. I mean, I think it affects everybody. And there's something, I, if I could ever like understand this enough and put the words, this would be a great book if somebody could write it. I wish I could write the book, but it it is such a big deal. There's so many people training out there on like, like, oh, how to do this, or oh, do this on social media. Here's how you make a live video. Try this in your downline and all these, these things. Well, the problem usually isn't what we know. The problem is that we don't do what we already know. I mean, do you think we really need like all these Kristen Boss trainings and all this stuff? You could literally go to boards and just go to the startup folder. And if you do everything there, which by the way, is what I just showed you, it's the same thing in a different format. If we were just to do this game plan, you would go all the way to NMD. No doubt. It will happen. Uh, the problem is we don't do it. So there's something psychological that happens. And I'm going to challenge you guys to challenge yourself. Okay. A lot of times I was talking to somebody just earlier today. Um, a lot of times, like as a leader, and you guys that are leaders and have team, you can relate to this. We hold back from almost telling you the whole truth. Like we're afraid to tell you the whole truth because we're afraid you're gonna get overwhelmed or something, okay? And it's not that it's the whole truth. It's like, because we say whether you do a little or a lot, you're a blessing, okay? The, the thing is we have to have realistic expectations. When we say, um, we want to move forward or we want to make it to senior sales coordinator or we want to make a thousand dollars a month instead of five hundred dollars a month we have to be realistic about what it takes to get there so let's not because there's no reference point within network marketing let's talk about things that we know about let's talk about maybe a nine to five job that we've had and if, or even better if you if you are somebody that exercises regularly or diets very strictly or is an accomplished athlete or musician or something like that that's required discipline and focus okay maybe you should re, uh, relate to that because here's the deal like if i say 
let's say um, I said to you guys, I'm going to say, Nicole, I'm going to pay you $1,000 this week, but I need you to do the level three full-time version. And I know you got to work two days this week, don't you? Right. So I'm going to say, I'm going to give you, I'm still going to give you the thousand bucks, but I just need you to double up on the days you're off from that job or work at night. Okay. I'll give you a thousand bucks. If you do that plan, you think you would do it? I mean, cash, Melissa, I'm throwing it down there for you too, right? My fingers are crossed, by the way, you're not getting that money from me. But if the money was on the table, you would do it. Okay. If I was, as Nicole calls us in coaching, if I was Hefe, the boss, and you were uh, on a salary, and that was your job description, and you came into work, you'd punch the clock, you'd sit down at your desk, and you wouldn't say, what do I feel like doing? Wait, wait, oh wait, I'm not gonna start right now, Hefe. I'm gonna go to, oh, there's an event at the splash pad. I'm gonna take the kids to the splash pad. And then after that, there's this great yoga class happening. So I'm gonna go to yoga. Well, now I'm tired, so I'm gonna take a nap. Okay, I'm gonna do some juice plus this evening. No, Hefe says it's work time. <laughs> so you would sit down at your desk. And when you sit down at your desk, you would not say, what am I going to do? You would pull up your job description. You'd have it memorized by now because it'd be what you do every day. You would say, I will now start 15 conversations, 10 of which are 10 people I know and two from new people. And I'll add them to my list. And then it wouldn't be like I check in with you a week later and I'm like, hey, how's it going? How's your list going? Oh, I forgot to use my list this week. What are you talking about? It's your job to use your list. All right. Same thing, let's switch over to working out. I know some people on here that work out uh, and they're consistent and they're fit and they're strong. Now, I don't work out very consistently. That's an area that I have, I struggle. I mean, I can be very consistent in work, but physically it is a job for me. So I focus on my eating right now. I'm just starting to get into my I am doing the couch to 5k app and I did my two mile run this morning. I hate it, but you know what? I love that. I hate it. I'm feeding off of it. And like, I'm, I'm accepting the challenge and I will win. I want to win. So, um, but in going to the gym, if I start lifting weights and say, I want to be, I want to be huge. I want to have a six pack. I'm going to be huge. I'm going to enter a bodybuilding competition. Now, if I go to the gym today, um, I'm not ready for that competition tomorrow. In fact, I'm not ready next week. I may not be ready in three months, maybe not even six months. It might take a year or two before I'm really getting showing like significant change. Maybe not two years, a little less. Okay. In the same way in our business, like you can't just expect that you're going to like do one day of the 30 day, 30 day plan. And you're like, well, nobody ordered from me today. So tomorrow you let yourself off, put yourself on a plan the same way. I'll try to think of as many ideas as if, if, as I can, if you guys can put them in the chat, that'd be great too. Maybe put your own excuses in there. The things that is an excuse that you don't have time for your business, but you sure as heck always have time for that. Right? Like, um, watching um watching Seinfeld on Netflix. I watch that all the time. Um you know, um I do easy stuff Melissa says. You know, all the the kid type of stuff, kids in sports. I have a uh, golf league Thursday with Emma. There's no way I'm going to miss that. In fact, when I have to not be there because we have Dr. Mitra Ray here, I have already um, found my substitute for that night to play with Emma and it's already set up. I didn't wait till the day before, you know, and some of you guys, you're thinking, well, I can't not do this. I can't not do that. I can't not do that. You can. It's a matter of choices and you have to, that's when we, when we talk about our why, that's what it's really about. It's not just like, I don't know, whatever the why is that will make you cry, but the why is, is, is like, why is it important to you? 
Is it important enough to you to make some sacrifices? Whenever you add something new to your life, you're going to have to give something else up. And you have to really look in the mirror and figure that out. Nicole, can you, for the last few minutes, can I have Nicole and Melissa maybe share a little bit? Because we, us three, not together, but individually, have been talking about this over months to years. But um, Nicole, share a little bit about like not feeling motivated and your thoughts on that, like we were sharing today. Um, yes. So there is a big distinction for me. I have a part-time Tuesdays and Thursdays where the distinction is being busy and being productive. And I was telling Douglas that in this part-time, I am productive. 100%. I'm there focus heads in for that lady. And when it comes to my Juice Plus business, I am busy. I'm doing all kinds of stuff in my mind. I'm PMD. I'm doing all events, but nothing gets done. I don't get to share. I haven't started my email list and all these things. So I have been working on just the example you gave. I have the discipline of working out. I don't have the discipline of exercising my business and that's a worthiness conversation that I have identified so mm -hmm. for the past two weeks that I have been doing this DMO um, I've been touching my DMO every day regardless if I want to do it or not regardless of my emotions and at the end I can I can identify I could have done more and yet I feel satisfied I feel with a sense of okay I got it done and I didn't die and I have had good feedback because it's mainly that negative conversation that my mind goes to. Um, so, and today we were talking again on that, on just doing it is, is a job. Sometimes I don't want to be there eight to five and I have to do it because of the cash. So same thing with this, just doing it and, and feeling in that positive sense of, okay, something good is going to come out of this. Does that answer? Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. And Melissa, share a little bit too. There we go. Um, yeah, and I wanted to say with this being a DMO tracker, it is just what works for you. Like Jen and obviously Stacy loves Stacy's DMO tracker. It works. For some reason, I was out of <laughs> um, this Van Doozy 30 day plan has been working for me and for people that don't know I am doing this full time now so that's why I'm doing like the full on 15 conversations a day all that stuff um and the reason I added the miracle mornings is kind of like Nicole said it's it's emotions and it's mental and that helps me get myself situated and feeling good and something um I was just talking about this weekend I didn't track what I was doing but I didn't make any excuses. I made a to-do list and I got it done. And I could feel the difference between feeling like crap when I don't get things done, feeling meh when I'm like busy, like Nicole's saying, because it's always going, it's always going to actually feeling productive and knowing that I made connections and I made movement feels good and it feels rewarding. And it, um, like you got to do the things that make like that make you feel it here. So like if you do visualization and then so I started doing visualization and then hear like the auditory like hearing. OK, so I'm getting new team. What am I visualizing? Emails coming in. Congrats on your new team. And then hearing something and then um, the feeling. So I'm trying to what would that feel like to me? What's another time I was like really, really happy and like just kind of channeling those thoughts. Um, this has really made a difference in my business and customers. Um, I'm working on personally getting better at inviting more people to the business. So that's, that's where I need to work on. Um, but I think the tracker is really cool because it allows, for example, for me, it allows me to see. Sometimes I think I don't have anybody to follow up with, which mm. isn't true, but that column will be empty and the new presentations will be empty. And I'm like, like the, the sharing of something new to new people will be empty. Um, and, uh, you know, then it shows me what I'm, what I'm not doing. Excellent. 
thanks for sharing you you guys really appreciate that and uh next week i think on next monday we're going to talk a little bit about how to keep ourselves organized because we we talked about the discipline of it today we talked about what to do uh, if you want to do this game plan you have the document now you can do it next week maybe we'll talk about how to organize yourself time block keep a list maybe some different methods of doing that some of us that do that we can share how we do that i want to encourage you guys for um if you made it to the end of this video on facebook um great job make sure you put uh replay in the chat um but you a next level of this is some accountability okay or if you like the the sound of some of that coaching type of stuff Yes, and, and Sony said, thanks for the kick in the butt and, and Nicole and Melissa for sharing and all this. But yeah, and, and um, Sony's back in South Florida and she has a whole new community and market and not new, but kind of old, but new. So there's gonna be some opportunity for excitement and energy there. So I encourage you to capitalize on that. But if you guys want to um, get accountability, Check whoever it is that you, who's that first person you vox? Who's your leader upline? That person you could say, hey, can I, can we check in on Mondays? You know, I have some people I'm checking in with now on Mondays. And, um, but I mean, I can't check in with everybody, but whoever that person is you naturally work with, get that, that working connection going. Get some accountability. That's, we're back to the gym now. You work out better when you have a workout buddy, don't you? Yeah because they're going to push you. You're going to get it done because you know you got to send, like Nicole's got to send me a screenshot of that paper on Monday. So if it, if it comes back blank, I'm going to be like, um, so what, the picture didn't look so good. Let's try that again. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, so this is a little bit different than how we usually roll. Again, I don't want to pressure anybody or anything, but you know what? I don't think, you know, I think the people that want to move quicker, we need to know what really needs to happen. And this is all stuff that uh, somebody like a Stacy Turner, a Julie Herps, this already happens automatically. Stacy created the DMO planner because that's probably the document she created for herself. Okay. And uh, because, uh, and she's a creator, she's a creative person. But um, Does, yeah. Let me just add that you're right. It was when I was working. Um, from sales coordinator to Q and MD. And we were in like a really crunch time needing that income. And I knew my time was limited, but I found if I wasn't writing down the names, actually at that time, my kids were little, I was seriously limited on time that I could do the business because I was home full time with them. They were all preschoolers or younger. And I I would really plan out the week because at that point we were calling everybody. That was the only form of communication over or email. So it was a lot of phone calls. So I had to really plan out who I was going to call. So I would fill in the, you know, DMO sheet ahead of time. And then I would just work down that list. Like that was my checklist to get it done. Now I think I use it more as like a tracker of the conversations I'm mm. having. I'm writing down the names I do talk up to, but planning it out ahead of time really will save a lot of time because every time you sit down to do work, if you're having to rethink, okay, who am I going to contact? Okay, where's their number? All right, where did I contact them last? It was Messenger. Then you get on Messenger. Oh, you've got three messages oh, and let me answer those. And then I'll send them one. Like the distractions are just super high now because we do have so many forms of, of um, you know, avenues of communication. If you plan it out ahead of time and you write down the names, man, you can just like highlight it, go down the list, highlight, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. And you can get way more done in a really short amount of time. But I mean, that is where the DMO planner came from. It was, I had to have something to organize my time. And I always say, without a system, chaos abounds. Yeah. And it's true. Like, think about nighttime with your kids. If you have no bedtime routine, you know, it's 930 and they're still running around the house and nobody's had a bath and like, it's just chaos. And now everyone's overtired and it's just not going to be a smooth you know, evening. And 
not having a plan with your business, it really feels chaotic in your mind because you're thinking about all of them, but you have no place to put it or no place to track it. Somewhere I would say, yes, use this tracker to like prompt the activity. But if you're not writing people's names down of who you're talking to, you're going to miss the opportunity of the eight exposures with people, you know, on average, because you're like, oh, yeah, I talked to them moving to the next five. OK, I talked to those where it's the repeat conversations that really move the mark somewhere, even if you print the page out and on the back of that sheet, write those people's name for that week that you're talking to, mm -hmm. that would work too. But somewhere track the conversations. Absolutely. It's a great topic. Um, I'll probably hopefully chop up this video. We probably have some good moments in it we could use for training, but um, thanks guys for coming on. Thanks for sticking a little extra. And I really hope this helped you guys. And we'll keep the conversation going. Thursday, we have, um, I forget who it is, but we have, uh, let me stop recording by Facebook.